Holy smokers, guys, we got some huge news today in regards to Square Stock and in regards to Bitcoin and then possibly coming together and making some moves together here, guys. So Square Stock is a stock I get asked about so much, guys, because this is one of the hottest stocks in the entire market, okay? This, this company, I mean, they do a few different things, but their main business is basically payment processing. So if you go to your Starbucks, you, you're, they're going to be using Square Systems there, Square Registers, a lot of small businesses use actually Square software. Uh, for my real estate marketing company, I use Square. So basically, picture I'm out on a job, a customer wants to pay me, a realtor wants to pay me for pictures or videos or whatever I'm doing for them, right? I just swipe their card right on my phone or I enter in the numbers and it, it goes right through and it goes into my bank account right away and Square makes a little payment uh, fee off of that, guys. And that's basically how Square makes the majority of their money, right? Bitcoin, as you may or may not know, is the world's biggest cryptocurrency, all right? So that's been about as hot as hot gets. Now, with Bitcoin uh, and cryptocurrencies in general, but Bitcoin is the main one here. Let's not fool ourselves, right? The, the main part of, of Bitcoin becoming a wider spread adoption type thing and more and more people being interested in possibly investing in Bitcoin, those kinds of things, is it has to be even more legit, okay? So what does that mean? That means more and more companies using Bitcoin, accepting Bitcoin, allowing Bitcoin to trade on their platforms, things like that, guys. Because when, when the big companies Companies start to back something, right? Then it becomes a, a safer play, I guess you could say, at that point, because people feel like, well, this big CEO of this company, he he's over here, he's allowing this to go through. So therefore, I, you know, why am I to think this is a scam or anything like that, or this isn't going to work out? So that's kind of the whole big thing with Bitcoin is it's got to be more legit as far as people adopting it and, and big companies using it and whatnot. So we see here today, Square has made a big move here. So. Jack Dorsey's company is testing support for Bitcoin through its cash payments app. We're, this is a quote from him. We're exploring how Square can make this experience faster and easier and have rolled out this feature to a small number of cash app customers. A Square spokesperson said via email to CNBC, we believe cryptocurrency can greatly impact the ability to individuals to participate in the global financial system and we're excited to learn more here. The test does not allow individuals or businesses to send or accept Bitcoin. Okay, guys? So... Uh, that's an interesting point there that the, the square person brings up that, you know, Bitcoin is attracting new people into the, the financial system and, and kind of getting in, involved with investing and kind of paying attention to stuff. And I do certainly agree with that. And that's one of the reasons I want Bitcoin to succeed. Uh, you know, although I'm not buying Bitcoin personally, I want it to succeed just because if, if let's say Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, they fail and people lose massive amounts of money. There's going to be massive amounts of kids out there, and, and, and when I say kids, I just mean younger people in general, right, that are going to get nailed on that, right? And then what happens at that point? The majority of them will never invest or on their own again. They'll not be interested in that because most people out there are not meant to take a lot of a big loss, right? Most people out there are just meant to try to make money and Bitcoin's attracting an insane amount of people because it's easy money right now. Like, like the amount we're gonna look at Bitcoin, how much has gone up just in the past year, it's such easy money that's attracting everybody because everybody wants to make easy money, right? If it's so easy, let's just all make a bunch of easy money, right? So I want Bitcoin to succeed. I want cryptos to succeed, but specifically Bitcoin, just because I don't want to see everybody wiped out and then we lose a huge segment of the population that will never invest again because they got wiped out in Bitcoin. They're just going to look at everything with a negative light. Yeah, that's a scam. That's a scam because most people, that they, they're not built to take losses like that. They're not built to come back. So if we look here, uh, this is from a Credit Suisse analyst. We believe it could place Square in an early mover position as mainstream fintech companies providing cryptocurrency services, Credit, Credit Suisse analyst Paul Condra and whatever that other person's name wrote on Wednesday. Square is well positioned to enable crypto transactions um, at the physical point of sale. All right, guys. So if we look here, um, well, actually, let's read this. Buying and selling Bitcoin has become big business. Coinbase, the leading U.S platform for such services has 12.5 million users and says on its website it exchanged more than 40 billion dollars worth of digital currency that means bitcoin or excuse me coinbase's user base or user growth has more than doubled from 5.5 million in january according to uh an analysis of public data compiled by ali star Milley, co-founder co and chief exec uh, investment officer there so unreal there guys if we look at the coinbase users it's just gone up dramatically over the last few years 
And then if we look at Bitcoin price today on this news, it jumped greatly, um, pretty much on the back of the square news, in my opinion, it jumped almost 10%. It was over a little under 6,600, uh, 6, and then it's over 7,200 for part of the day today. So if we look on the one year, the one year chart here, at this time last year, Bitcoin was at $749. Now it's well over $7,000, guys. We're talking about almost a tenfold. Then if we look at Square stock here, Square stock just in the past 10 days, or excuse me, the past five days has jumped 10%. And then if we look year to date, it's jumped almost 200% year to date, okay? And Square is one of those companies that, you know, um, I was almost going to invest in it and I didn't and I just regret it because it was in the, this was like a year and a half ago. Square was a, a single digit stock. It was like $8 a share or something like that. Eight or $9 a share. I looked in the company and because I was using it for my business, that's what sparked the idea on, for me to look into it. And I didn't mainly because of Twitter. Twitter is, this is a stock that's dropped over 50% here uh, since they came public, right? Twitter was a company led by who? Jack Dorsey, the same guy that leads Square. So for that reason, I was very skeptical something I like to uh, you know look at is how is a management team done as a public company and when I looked into this company and I saw what Jack Dorsey had did with Twitter it just was not impressive at all I mean you're since you came public your stocks down 51% that's obviously very bad and so that kind of scared me away a lot from Square because I was like maybe this is just gonna be another Twitter situation he's gonna fumble the ball but he's actually done a very good job with Square if we look at this company, it's got a forward PE of almost 90. And for that reason, I can't touch this company because you guys know I love growth and, and Square is certainly a growth company, but at a 90 PE, that's like against my religion, man. That's just too much, that's too much to, to and of course they're not even profitable this past year, but a 90 PE on a forward basis, that's just way too much for me to pay guys. But at the same time, this is could become a story company where it has a lot of different things going for it, right? If it has the, the payment systems and then it has a lot of cloud services and then it has this Bitcoin, it becomes kind of like a, a story play, I like to call it, which is kind of like an NVIDIA. You know, if you think about NVIDIA stock and why NVIDIA stock has done so phenomenal, it's because they've got pretty good results, uh, you know, quarter after quarter for the last three years. But also on top of that, they got a lot of stories around it. It's like, well, they got gaming over here, but then they got, you know, this huge data, this data center business they're, they're selling into and they got artificial intelligence they got going on and driverless cars and all these things. And so NVIDIA is like a story stock. It's not just that they're, they're, they have good results right now. It's that they got this story of oh, why they're going to succeed even more in the future. Maybe Square is kind of turning into one of those kind of stocks there, which is which is an interesting play for some of you guys that are a little like to take a little bigger risk and things like that, guys. But let me know in that comment section what you think about all this. Is it? I mean, I I can't look at this and say it's anything but good news for Bitcoin specifically. Other cryptocurrencies. I'm not sure it's good news for it because uh, Bitcoin seems, seems to just be the one that people are kind of going toward. And, uh, you know, so will it be good for these other cryptocurrencies that, you know, are coming out of nowhere? I'm not convinced about that. But it certainly is good news for Bitcoin. I would love to hear your guys' opinion on that in the comment section. Are you thinking about buying Square stock? Have you bought Square stock? I would love to hear from you guys. Hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed today. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day.